so all the naming has been done I've repeated a few pictures here and there but that's totally okay as this is an example uh, so yeah let's go ahead and uh, run this and let's see there we go using gulp file starting finishing and it's done let's go ahead and refresh that text has changed the image has changed there you go you can see uh, the image changing and everything is so smooth and so dynamic and everything is really really cool so yeah all the images have changed and there we go everything is super smooth and really really cool so a few things to keep in mind is that uh, when it comes to images you have to make sure that the image folder in your source file this which is under image or wherever it is located at make sure that the image folder in the source file is same as the image uh, as the image folder in the dist file because without which uh, the images on when you run the file it won't uh, show up which I've come across so many times and uh, yeah so make sure that you don't make a mistake and also make sure that the name that you're using here for example this is phase 3 within two curly brackets both at the front and at towards the end make sure that it is the same right it's over here and this text is equivalent to this text otherwise this uh, the HTML file won't reach out to the Gulf file and it will return as null or empty so yeah and make sure that you put a comma at the end otherwise it will throw an error and you don't want that um, and in case it throws an error it will show a line below it or above it or sometimes uh, on the same line so make sure t to keep your eyes open and look for all those kinds of error otherwise it's all cool and yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something from it and yeah thank you for watching